Future of Midtown Golf has some Tucson City Council members studying their course of action for the Randolph Complex, but opposition is already lining up its shot. 13 News reporter J.D. Wallace is live at Del Eric Golf Course, where the first changes could be made. And this path along 22nd Street would be made safer for walkers and runners. The irrigation system at Del Eric Golf Course would be replaced. That's phase one. The council is awaiting more specifics on just how that will look, but it's the big picture that has golfers and one council member particularly concerned. Teeing off over the future of Randolph. It's going to negatively impact the quality of the golf courses that we have. Julie Walters with the Randolph Women's Golf Association opposes making changes because she says it works like it is, especially the Randolph North golf course. It's also from the back tees, the only championship course within the city limits that is available for public play. It's things that you cannot do without changing the topography. Flood Control District and Army Corps of Engineers are going to have to approve whatever is designed anyway. They should be at the table from the start. Ward 6 Tucson City Council member Steve Kazachik was the lone opponent of the council moving forward with phase one. But Ward 2 Council member Paul Cunningham says the big changes are later. I think this is a long term thing. That's why it's in three phases. I think phase one is a really responsible motion. I was really clear in my motion to say, hey, we're going to protect the long par five on hole number three. We're going to keep the integrity of the golf course. Phase one uses voter approved Prop 407 funds to make the path along 22nd Street safer and replace the irrigation at Del Uric Golf Course, the other course here. We can augment the path, get started on the course. That's phase one. It's a very modest amount. It's already funded. I think waiting too long and keeping to study it, we'd never get it done. So I like that piece. I think phase two, I'm really concerned about the cost. We're dangling a carrot out in front of the public right now that they may not see designed and approved for five, six, seven years, and then we got to figure out how to pay for it. And some golfers say Randolph provides a chance for the public at large to take a shot at more challenging courses. Everyone wants to have recreational opportunities within the city. And so for people that can't afford or choose not to participate or become a member at a private club, the city courses are a great option. Now this was approved by the council in study session. They must still ultimately approve what the city manager presents to them as phase one. Council member Cunningham says this phase one could take a year and a half to complete. Live in Midtown, J.D. Wallace, 13 News.